I'm now going to discuss how to use the Xyla camera as fast as possible. Um, so this is something that can be very useful if you're looking at a sample where there are live things inside that move very quickly. So this is an example of a cytoskeletal protein from uh, the Bayer lab here at UNC, and there are some puncta it doesn't matter what they are, then they can move quite quickly around the cell. You can see them moving here and here. So when you're imaging something like this, if you need to go very fast, you need to make sure that you're using the camera in the fastest possible mode. So the typical way in which we use uh, the Xyla camera is in what's called high quality acquisition mode, which gives us the least amount of noise. And if we're doing a time lapse, we're typically using one of the time lapse settings. Um, now, that is not the way in which the camera operates as fast as possible. So, for example, if we acquire just 11 time points with 100 millisecond exposure time, you'll see that it quickly acquires the data, but um, 11 times 100, uh, or rather 10 times 100, because the first frame, there's no interval for the first frame, this should take, if there were no uh, extra time, one second and you can see here it's taking 1.247 seconds so it's clearly uh, there's some extra time and so the question is how can we reduce that extra time so the first thing we can do to reduce that extra time is switch the camera as acquisition mode from high quality to high speed if we do that and we try the exact same thing again you'll see that that extra time goes down so you can see now that extra time, instead of being 250 milliseconds approximately, has gone down to 100 milliseconds. So that's one of the things that we can do at the expense of quality to make the Xyla go faster. Another thing we can do is instead of using this kind of time-lapse protocol, is to use what's called the finite burst protocol. So under these circumstances, um, the camera goes as fast as it possibly can, and you'll see the result of that if I hit acquire. So here you can see, sorry, that between each pair of frames, the time is simply the exposure time. Um, so this is not always the case. It depends on exactly what, the, what exposure time you have. It can add sometimes a little bit of time, but that is the fastest way of running the camera. But when you run it in this mode, note that you can only do a time lapse. You don't have the option to add anything else to the protocol. Uh, there are other things you can do to speed up the camera, and uh, those are uh, to reduce uh, the field of view by cropping. That can also increase the speed significantly. Keep in mind that your exposure uh, has to be a multiple of 2.5 milliseconds. Uh, if it is not, uh, it will not be well coordinated with the, um, with the spinning disk, and you might get streaking artifacts. And really, if you want a kind of minimal quality, you're typically not going to want to do less than 10 milliseconds. Uh, in this case, 10 milliseconds uh, would probably not be enough to really see anything. Uh, but if you have something that's really bright and you want to lower that, uh, keep in mind uh, that you want to use an exposure that's a multiple of 2.5 milliseconds. I will have tables showing for different combinations of cropping, um, high speed, and finite burst um, exactly what frame rates you can get. One, one final thing that you should keep in mind is when you use the full camera, uh, you can go with finite burst uh, as fast as you can, but at some point, if you're going too fast, what happens is the data throughput from the camera to the computer chokes. And so there, there is a bottleneck that temporarily slows down the acquisition before it can pick up again. And so if you're doing experiments where you're going very fast, you need to know where those limits are. And those are very much case by case, but we can discuss them if you are in the realm where those experiments are critical to you. So again, just to summarize, the main things we do to make the camera, the Xyla acquire faster are go to high speed mode, go to finite burst, Cropping can also significantly increase the speed, 
it's a good idea to do a small test run to see what the extra time, if any, uh, is and how we are managing to reduce it. I will have tables that go into that uh, in detail, so you, you won't need, need to, to, to test it too much. And finally, keep in mind that your exposure should be a multiple of 2.5 uh, and typically at least 10 milliseconds.